how much is a comfortable amount to live in Klang Valley. This week, I read something interesting. Yes, and it is from this book, Belanjawanku by KWSP. It says there is an expenditure guide for Malaysian individuals and family. Within this book, it shows the monthly estimated budget for people living in different states. And it says that if you are living in Klang Valley, your monthly budget estimate, if you are a single using public transport, it should be 1,930 ringgit a month. And if you are a car owner, you should have a budget of about 2,600 ringgit. Now, when this particular book came out and it quoted such numbers, there were many comments online. Some think that it is true, some think it is not. So we decided to find out ourselves by going down the street and ask the people what they really think, how much is a comfortable amount to live in Klang Valley. Let's go. We all have some time. Basically, I'm going to ask you three questions and then I'm going to guess your income from those questions. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi. Do you have time for a quick interview? Uh, okay. Uh, can I? Okay. Can I? Uh, all right. So first question. Mm -hmm. What is your highest level of education? I have a degree mm. in Pertanian. Okay. So second question. What is the most expensive thing you own? The most expensive thing that I own, yeah? Mm, maybe a car. A car. Yeah. Okay, cool. If you don't mind me asking, what car is it? It's just a normal car. It's just a Proton Saga. In order to live comfortably in Krang Valley, how much do you think a monthly salary should be? Maybe above 3,000. Okay, um, one more question, okay? What industry are you in currently? What industry? Mm. So like, what? Uh, I'm doing a logistic right now for FedEx. So I'm going to try to guess your salary now. I think you are earning between 3,000 to 5,000. Yes, correct. Right. Correct. What is your highest level of education? Um, SPM. 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 Okay. Okay. What is the most expensive thing you own? Phone. Phone. Phone apa? iPhone. iPhone. Okay. Pada you punya opinion kan? You rasa berapa salary yang kita orang kena ada untuk live comfortably kat Klang Valley ni? 3,000. 3,000 eh? Okay, satu lagi question. Besides Lala Move, you ada kerja lain tak? Ya, yeah, ada. Ada. Okay, okay. I guess your salary monthly ialah... 4,000 to 5,000. Betul ke tak? Tak. Uh, okay, if you don't mind telling me, what is your salary? 2K lebih. 2K lebih. What is your highest level of education? A bachelor's degree holder. Okay, in what course? Business admin. Business admin, alright. What is the most expensive thing you own? I mean my gadgets, Nintendo. Oh, okay, so like gaming gadgets exactly. and like technology kind exactly. of stuff. Exactly. Alright, in order to live comfortably in KL, how much do you think the average salary should be? It should be 5k yeah, to have a leisure life. One more additional question. What industry are you in? I'm working in call center in FedEx. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to try to guess your salary now. Alright. I think you're earning between 3.5 to 5.5k. Yeah. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. If you don't mind, do you mind telling us what your income is? Actually, you said it. Oh. Minimum is 3.5. What is your highest level of education? I have a diploma. Alright, in what subject? In what course? Mechanical Mechatronic Engineering. Okay, what is the most expensive thing you own? A house. A house, alright. Um, if you don't mind me asking, in which area? Hatamas. Hatamas, okay. In order to live comfortably in KL, what do you think is the average salary needed? Probably about what, seven? Seven, seven to eight thousand, yeah. Okay, I think based on those three questions, mm -hmm. you're earning between. 8 to 10k, am I right? No. <laughs> no? Am I way off? Like, is it high or is it lower? It's a bit higher. It's a, okay, yeah. okay, cool. What is your highest level of education? Um, degree. Degree in what course? In veterinary. Ve oh, okay. Uh -huh. What is the most expensive thing you own? Uh, I guess a car. A car, okay. <laughs> uh, what kind of car? Um, uh, proton car. A proton car, okay. So, in your opinion, in order to live comfortably in Klang Valley, mm -hmm. how much do you think the average salary should be? Uh, minimum, like, because I'm married, so at least like 10,000 per... Family? Yeah, no, uh, no, no. Per person? <laughs> per person, Oh, I think. okay. I'm assuming that you're working in the industry that you graduated in. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm a housewife. So, <laughs> uh, do you work previously then? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I used to. I'm still gonna try to guess. Okay. So, I think back then, you were making two to 3K a month. Slightly above that. Slightly above that. Uh -huh. Okay, so 
if you don't mind, like how much do you earn back then? Uh, for fresh grad, it was three thousand five. What is your highest level of education? Masters. In what? Business. Business. Okay. What is the most expensive thing you own? House. A house. Uh, where is this house? Puchong. Puchong. Okay. In your opinion, in order to live comfortably in Tang Valley, how much do you think the average salary should be? Single. Mm. 10k? 10k. What industry are you currently working in? Oh, uh, engineering. Engineering? Yeah, but I'm in IT. Okay, so I'm gonna try to guess your income now. I think you're making about 20 to 30k a month. Really? Yeah. Thank you. So, so was I close? I yeah. So we're back and just now Jade was asking the people how much do they think is a comfortable amount to live in Klang Valley. As you can see, the answer she got was generally in the range of 5,000 ringgit a month to live comfortably in Klang Valley. What do you guys think? Do you think this amount is too high or too low? Well, we are not here to judge them but these are some of my thoughts. Now definitely if you are talking about comfortable, it depends on individual. For some people, comfortable means more. For some people, comfortable means less. So don't go and bash them and crucify them lah if you don't like their comment. But nonetheless, you can always share in the comment what do you think is your own personal comfortable amount. Anyway, after doing this three interview and hearing what people say, I came to learn a few things. Firstly, for most people, whatever that you're going to be studying right now doesn't really matter when it comes to working because you are likely going to be working in a different field and when it comes to work, it's going to be a whole different skill set. So don't be too bothered about the particular subject that you are studying and don't think that if you are studying this particular um, course in university, then it kind of decides on your life and there's no other place or industry that you can go except for things that are related to your studies. Second thing that I learned is probably people in PJ actually do spend a little bit more but it's not really their fault because when it comes to PJ and KL area, Honestly, when you talk about the Klang Valley, these two places are probably the most expensive place that you can live in. And I mean, one cup of teh tarik sometimes costs you about 3 to 4 ringgit, right? And if you have any form of entertainment with your friends, sometimes you will need to spend about 50 ringgit to spend in a cafe having brunch with friends. Yes, there are some cheaper alternatives, but again, like we say here, it's all about comfort. So different people have a different definition. Anyway, since we are on the topic of budgeting and monthly living expenses, now don't forget to budget one thing into your monthly expenses expenses which is saving okay don't forget because you can spend all the money you need but ultimately you still need to save some money whether is it for the rainy days or for your future retirement that is something very 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 important so if you want to find out how much do you actually need for retirement go to our site www.mrmoneytv.com there once you sign up for a newsletter where we will send you some tips and tricks on how to manage your money and investment. See you next week.